If you're new to raising chickens or are always looking for tips on how to keep them healthy and happy, Lisa Steele is the woman to turn to. She's been writing about chickens for years. She's released a new book called 101 Chicken Keeping Hacks filled with pictures shot by our own Peggy Kaiser. We sat down with the two and a special guest to find out about the idea behind the book and why Lisa has such a love for raising chickens. I sort of did. I worked on Wall Street for a while and ended up back on a farm raising chickens. But they're, they're just so much fun. They become pets. They lay delicious eggs. I think a lot of people are finding that they're just such a good addition to your backyard. It doesn't have to be a farm. You have done so many blogs, articles about chickens. Did you run out of ideas of things for this book, or were, are there new <laughs> ideas in here? This actually, the hardest thing about the book was not kind of letting things slip. Sometimes I would share a photo on Instagram and something I had done for the book was in the background, and of course people would zone right in on it, yeah. and I couldn't tell them. So it was hard to save content because the content is all new. It's not things that I've already written about. I think we ought to make an introduction before we go any farther. Tell us about this chicken. So this, this, this is a young girl. She hasn't started laying yet. She's about six months old, so she should start soon. She is actually an ice cream bar, which is a new breed that uh, my pet chicken actually oh, developed. She's asleep. She's falling asleep. She's so relaxed in front of the That's camera. That's the name of the breed, ice yes. cream bar. Yes. <laughs> and it's a mix of not a breed you've heard of of a cream no. leg bar and a, a ice bar, I believe. So she'll lay bluish eggs, and she's cold hardy. She's a good forager, so she's really good for Maine. Oh, Peggy, you took a lot of photos for this book. I did. How do you become one with the chicken and really get the good photos? <laughs> well, we start with a conversation, cup of coffee. Uh, whoopsie. Um, you know, I I have chickens too, and I think chickens are beautiful and kind of exotic looking. So when I started taking pictures of them, I would sit in my run and just sit there for hours and take pictures. So the thing that's tricky, chickens never stop moving, although she's being incredibly well uh, behaved. And they also have like a third eyelid kind of thing going on. So a lot of times I would get a great picture, but you know, the one eye was <laughs> closed and stuff. So We've they're very there photos, I think, you know. <laughs> but once you kind of get to know how they move and their little habits and stuff, you know, you can kind of anticipate, so. <laughs> Forgive me. Some of the things in the book are pretty far out there. <laughs> What do you mean by that? <laughs> Herbal sinus tea for chickens. Well, they do. They have really complicated respiratory systems, and they are very susceptible to Career respiratory ears. issues. <laughs> yeah, so, so I do like to brew herbal tea for my chickens, especially when it gets cold. They like it. You, well, you talk about a lot of different interesting things. Um, one of my favorites in the book was that you use vodka sometimes to clean out their feeders. Why does that help? That, <laughs> well, it depends on how you use the vodka. No. Right. Well, I, I was using white vinegar. And vinegar has a really strong smell, and then I was sort of infusing it, and it would take weeks. But the vodka, as you know, is odorless and tasteless. And it's a really great cleaner. A lot of people use it in their kitchens, their bathrooms, as an all-natural cleaner. So it's, it's kind of like bleach, but better. You talk about like coconut oil, too, for scary <laughs> leg mites. How did you even figure out some of these remedies? Well, a lot of people use Vaseline or Neosporin. I'm not a big fan of like petroleum-based products and chemicals. You know, they're laying eggs that we're eating, <laughs> that our families are eating. So I don't want to use chemicals on them. So coconut oil, honey, things like that. People use them on their kids. And also, if, if you bring your chickens on television, they will relax and fall asleep. That's the other She's thing we want to really know. She's clearly not at all by not the lights the and the cameras. She's like, I could do this all day, every day. Do chickens like to be petted mm -hmm. like that? Well, they do, and, uh, and they get, some of them get very friendly. Some actually, you know, when you come out the door, most of the time when you're going to your coop, you have treats or something for them to eat, and they know that, so they come running at you, and they're very excited to see you. <laughs> I'm trying to wake her up a little. There we go. She's back. But um, they are very friendly. Some will go as far as, you know, allowing you to carry them around or hug them and all that kind of stuff. They're really kind of great. <laughs> the point of the book, we should make this clear, is really practical tips and right. ideas for raising chickens. This is a how-to book that really covers everything from A to Z, right? Right. And a lot of reusing, repurposing, recycling. We're in Maine, in New England. People just love to pick up trash on the side of the road and, you know, paint it and use it in different ways. So I thought it would appeal to people. I know that, that I like to do that. 
So and there's you know there's things to do that are very practical like making your own feed and stuff. But then there's things like body balm. You know this beautiful rich lotion that you can make with the eggs. And there's mayonnaise a recipe for mayonnaise that you can make with the eggs as well. So there's that and type of stuff. And make a tutu for a chicken. And chicken tutus. That was things, an yeah. extra. We were kind of <laughs> keeping that as a surprise. But yes, there is a whole <laughs> section on chicken tutus. <laughs> Again, the name of the book is 101 Chicken Keeping Hacks. For more information, head to the 207 section of our website. Ed, when we come